What do you get when you have the desire to create incredible music, but most of that music's already been created? You get the urge to cover it, to remix it, remaster it, and in some cases turn it into an epic rock mix. Yes, this is Little V Mills Review. Yes, I'm going to be using his music. And yes, from now on out, I'm definitely giving credit. Now, this guy, Little V Mills, he's a guy up in Canada. Kind of obvious considering the Canadian flag strap that he's got. And he makes epic rock mixes. You know, he's done this with all kinds of video game music. Stuff that didn't exactly have rock visions in it. And he's been doing it for quite a while. And the beauty of it is, as long as you give him credit, you can use his music for monetizing your YouTube videos. He's that cool with it. Some of the videos that he's done include remastering things like Ryu's theme, Ken's theme, Guile's theme from Street Fighter 2. Standard. You know, it's your usual that you would expect. But he's also covered some stuff that's different. Stuff that you wouldn't expect at all. Like Ruby's Red Light Roses. You know, the... The, a mix of the first two made in a slower version it's not really an epic rock mix and there's a reason for that because he was honoring Monty Ohm the late Monty Ohm with that one and that one still kind of chokes me up a bit but it's along other lines that he's done some other incredible stuff too there was of course his remix of John Cena in the DeJet style, which I can't stand myself, but for comedy purposes like this, it's actually pretty cool. And, of course, when you look at what he's done with things like the Terminator theme, where he made it into a country cover, this guy really likes music. Just flat out. Basically, if he likes it, he'll cover it. And that's the most awesome thing you can say about the guy. Except for one other thing. What he does, he lets you use. Free of charge. All you gotta do is give him credit. How cool is that? Now, recently, of course, he did make a video where he said that no longer was he going to be providing his music for absolute free. You would have to pay like a dollar for it, but it's a dollar for crying out loud. And if you want to use it for your YouTube videos and monetize off of it, be his guest. An interesting point in his videos is that he seems to play all of the instruments himself. One of the more interesting ones to me was when he covered Conrad's theme from Killer Instinct, the more modern Xbox One version, and actually played the bongos and, you know, edited himself in four times, you know, where you saw a four hymns playing four bongos. It was really well done. That's another thing. He puts a lot of effort into making these videos, and this is all for you guys. Quite frankly, I don't see why you wouldn't support this guy with money. Now, he has a Patreon you can also go and support, and I'm going to be trying to put a link to his Patreon down in the description, as well as my own, of course. And I'm also going to link to his channel. Definitely give him a check out. The dude is so worth your time and seriously worth your subs. Let's go ahead and get him up above half a million. He's over a hundred thousand now and really deserves more than that. Now, I'm well aware that rock isn't a genre for everybody. Metal isn't something that's in everybody's soul, but you know what? I love it. I may not look it, but I am a total metalhead. I love just the speed, the power. Just the force that the music conveys. And not only that, the attitude and the freedom. That means a lot to me. And apparently it means a lot to him too. Not only that, but it's something that he enjoys doing. And he 
you know, this is something that he also does to help keep his lights on. So let's help this guy's dream come true, guys. Let's help him keep his lights on with something he loves. Until next time, this is J.D. Paladin saying rock on and stay righteous.